Hmm. Okay, Capricorn. It's the message from your higher self that the time of the Three of Swords is over. It's done. Hey there, Capricorn. How are you? It's your Force Fairy here. Nice to see you again. Welcome in and welcome back to the 100 Acre Woods where I read cards out here. So let's read some cards for you, Capricorn. We're going to start off with an Oracle card, which will set the tone of the read. And it's a general read. So take it resonates and leave the rest. And it's for all Capricorn placements, wherever you have Capricorn in your chart. Let's take a look at what the cast of Capricorns are up to. Reform. Mm-hmm to make changes, to improve, to create something better, to update and reorganize. It's the call to action. Are Have you heard the call, Capricorn? Have ya? I know I have as a Capricorn sun. Bottom of the deck. And that which you might not see, acceptance, awareness, understanding, peer pressure, approval, reputation, group mentality and generalization. Well, isn't reputation is really sticking out to me. Well, isn't that? A Capricorn card. Um, understanding, that just reminds me of my grandmother who used to say, with understanding comes compassion. Hmm. Is Capricorn moving gracefully with dignity and grace, with compassion, because they now have understanding, not only of how the system works, but how to reform it? Ooh, Capricorn. This wouldn't go in the deck, so let's start with it. First card out, the world. Yep, Saturn, which rules Capricorn. Hmm. The energy that crosses this, Seven of Pentacles, being very patient with all of those seeds that you have planted, taking stock of what gets to come with you, what who, what gets to move with you in this dignity and grace moving forward? What gets left behind? Higher self, Ten of Swords, the ending, the ending of, I'm just hearing of a cycle. Focus and foundation, the sun. Is this the ending of, I'm hearing of a sadness cycle and that you're really focusing in on your joy? On, on the wonders and delight of the world and worlds beyond. Ooh, in the past, all that work you've been putting in Capricorn with the Eight of Pentacles in the future. Oh, page of Cups. I love this Page of Cups. This is also, for me, the page of new, of, it's, it's an energy of, of fresh new love. It's an energy of, of innocence. And, and through joy, you, Tap into your own childlike sense of wonder and delight about the world, about um, our solar system, about our galaxy, about the universe, about your connection with God as a child of God. Like this, this is a beautiful, with the sun being your focus and foundation, Capricorn, and moving into the page of, of cups. This is beautiful. How you see yourself. There you are. Queen of Pentacles. Male or female, does not matter. This is you. My queens are cardinals. And this is you, Capricorn. This is you. How other people see you. Two of Pentacles. Making all that you juggle look so easy. Almost entertaining. Are you the star of your own show, Capricorn? Mm. Hope and fear. The Three of Pentacles. I like the progression. This is daily tasks, daily sort of getting everything balanced out. This is also your hope and your fear is working with new sets of people that see you. Like, do you see the pentacles? This is all just daily. And what crosses the world, sort of you hopping back onto that, um, I almost, karmic wheel. Like, it, it feels like a completion, but you can get pulled back in very easily if you're not aware. And I think the sun is illuminating this so that you don't have, hop back on that you have the successful victory of the world card and then move into the fool right into something brand new tower wow this is an epiphany 
this is, yeah. Is it your happiness that's sort of like breaking down the, the old structures, the old systems that need to be reformed, Capricorn? Hmm. We'll see with some clarifiers. Bottom of the deck, and that which you might not see. Oh, Six of Cups. Uh, this one wants to be seen underneath the Six of Cups. Four of Swords. Ooh, uh, that's beautiful. Resting your mind, body, and soul. Almost, I'm feeling to accept, to see and accept the Six of Cups. It could be someone that you're working with, right? That you want to work with. A soul mate. There's soul assignments and soul mates. And that's how I sort of categorize them. A soul assignment is really to challenge you and to uh, teach you something. Soul assignments are not, they're for you. You know, when, oh, life always happens to me, you have to think life always happens for me, right? Just with that one word change, you can change your perspective. So any soul assignment, so this is how I look at souls, because I meet people on a soul level. So when I meet them and I recognize them and I see them and I'm like, hey, how's it going? I haven't seen you in a while, right? Meanwhile, I just met these people, but I see them on a soul level. They might not see me and this freaks people out and that's fine. And I can kind of feel like, you know, if and when I can say that to someone, I might just sort of, and, and this is just me personally, force very just personally, I might just like test the waters by saying, it feels like I've known you from somewhere, right? Like if anyone's ever said that to you, Capricorn, just know that they see you on a soul level. That That's an indicator of that. Um, and if they go, oh, no, I, I've never met you. This is the first time we've met. Like, let's say you're online dating and, and you just meet someone for coffee and you know this is a soul, you know, and a soul mate. A soul mate is someone that you recognize. It's someone that's always been there for you, always been a supporter. A soul assignment is kind of karmic. They call them karmics here in the tarot world. I call them soul assignments. And that someone is to challenge you, maybe to, and especially with the world card, to, to sort of like um, tie up all, to, to, to complete all those karmic cycles. And I use air quotes with that because Karma in the tarot world can be looked upon as, as bad. It's not. It just is. It's good. It's bad. It's it's just something that needs to be wrapped up so that you can move forward. Okay. Having said that, let's get some clarifiers on this world card. Oh, five of coins. Yes. This is the lack mentality that you're moving out of for some of you Capricorns. Ooh, and a king of cups. We are in Scorpio season. Welcome to Scorpio season, Capricorn. Welcome. Look at this King of Cups. I love this King of Cups. This is um, the depths of Capricorn. Capricorn can get pretty deep. Capricorn can. And so this, clarifying the world card, I think as you were meant to be left, abandoned, this is an abandonment. There's no, in a traditional Rider weight. there's two, um, characters that are outside of a church this is not the case in your deck this is you taking a look at all of the emotions and you see how how shallow this river is you might be looking at how shallow you might have been especially in the material world you might look at uh how your depths king of cups in this world isn't being seen, isn't being monetized, isn't being recognized. And you've put a lot of work in it, Capricorn, with this seven of pentacles. And you're looking at the shallowness. Meanwhile, the depths are in behind you. And this is what the King of Cups represents. Mm. So we have two ending cards here. Your higher self is saying 10 of swords, clarified by the tower right there, right there, and the three of swords. Oh, Capricorn. Hmm. Okay, Capricorn. It's a message from your higher self that the time of the Three of Swords is over. It's done. That tower that you... It, do you see how the lightning is hitting it? It's, it's an epiphany. And it could be regarding a Scorpio. It could happen to you in Scorpio season. And that is your happiness. As people were trying to project sadness, uh, heartbreak, um, a lack mentality, 
that is coming to an end and you know it with the tower twice. And that is that happiness is a choice, Capricorn. And you with the focus and foundation being the sun, also for others of you, you are illuminating the darkness. You are illuminating the heartache. You're going to help others heal their hearts through their minds because it's in a higher self position through connecting with their higher self, with their angels, with God. Okay. The sun is clarified by, there's that fool card, kind of called it, kind of mentioned that fool card and moving on with happiness. And this is a carefree, this is a carefree energy of not really giving a monkey's F about what other people think, right? They, this is beautiful energy. This is, um, I keep saying carefree. And normally I would say, take that leap of faith, Capricorn. It's not, it's, you already are. You've taken a leap of faith on yourself, on your heart, healing your heart and choosing happiness. Just like you can choose to be miserable, you can choose to be happy. And you have a lot to be happy about because you've closed out a major cycle. And a king of wands. Well, I love this. This is pure temp this is pure temperance energy right here with the combination of the king of wands and the king of cups here. Look at the Sagittarius reading if you have any Sagittarius in your chart. Because the these two kings together and especially underneath the tower it's kind of realizing the depths of your love and i'm really going to say the depths of your love for humanity for the world but also for yourself and your connection to god and then leading those to illuminate their own demons and to accept them scorpio energy um a very a uh, profound uh, new I guess he's been around for a while I've known him for a couple of years now not personally just online um the artist Ren and I love it uh, the, and he's a poet he really is a poet a lyricist yes but that's just poetry put to music okay so he says the brightest lights cast the darkest shadows. And it's so very true. And I think Capricorn, you're seeing it, accepting it, and loving it. The illumination of your leadership qualities, the illumination of the depths of your love, of your unconditional love, your heart, illuminating your carefree, beautiful energy, that of dignity and grace. And it's going to be you Capricorns that help reform this world moving forward. And it's because you're dedicated, you're devoted. With the Eight of Pentacles, what have you been mastering, Capricorn? Oh, you've been mastering yourself, Capricorn, with the Devil card showing up. And this is the major and minor. So this is, and do you notice in your deck, there's only one single individual, right? You, in a traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, there are two individuals, like I said, outside of a church, five of coins. There are two chained to the devil, but this is only you, Capricorn. In the tarot, you're represented by the devil. Yes, this is you looking at yourself, Capricorn. Looking at how you break your own heart, Capricorn. And doing the work. And yeah, look at that. Ace of coins. Ace of coins. And right beside this five of coins, Capricorn, it tells me that in the past, the devil had a grip on you. Do you see how this coin is in the reverse surrounding this very demonic looking entity? Okay. And it's in the upright. And so you've turned all those lies, all of that, that darkness, looked at it, worked on it, accepted it, and now you reap the benefits. Because with this Ace of Coins, this is the very beginning to the 10. And so it's the ending of this lack mentality, this, this, this energy of I have been abandoned. I've been abandoned by, by God. Oh God, why have you forsaken me? Even Jesus asked. I had to be reminded because that was the devil, right? 
I haven't forsaken you, my son, right? And to all of you watching this, the Lord has never forsaken you. That's the devil turning the love of the Lord in the reverse. He's forsaken you, five of pentacles. No, he hasn't. Never. You're a child of God. We've, we've, and we move into this, and then you accept this. Look at this. Page of Cups. Queen of Swords. I'm loving it. I love the combination of the King of Cups and the Queen of Swords. I'll tell you why. Because it's, there's, there's energies and, and elements. And this is a feminine energy with Queen, Libra energy, but this is the Queen of Swords. It's a feminine energy but a masculine air element. This is the king and their neighbors too. Libra and Scorpio are neighbors in, on the zodiac wheel, right? So the king of cups, this is a masculine energy being a king in a feminine element. So they're kind of one and the same to me and I love it. It's the king of cups knowing the depths and, and controlling his emotions. Well, so does the queen. The queen controls her emotions. The, the King of Cups uses logic and love. Well, so does the Queen of Swords, because she knows of heartache. Hmm. So this is speaking into existence, knowing that the truth can hurt, and putting it through the filter of the Page of Cups. This also gives me Gemini energy where through speaking the truth through the Page of Cups, this is through the Fool card, through Jovial, through Jokes, through um, Satire, very Scorpio, and, and doing it in a way that people can handle the truth through this filter of love. And it's, it's naivety, it's, it's new love, it's something fresh, maybe something that people hadn't even really experienced before. Okay. And, ooh, look at that. The Emperor. The Emperor. Yeah, Capricorn. Who are you? I am. You are the Emperor. You are bossing up. My astrologer, God love him. God love his soul. I love him so much. He says that Capricorn at home, when Capricorn gets home, they turn into Aries. And it's so true. It really, as a Capricorn sign, I do have to say that. And I live with a lot of Aries energy. So I love Aries energy. And Aries has the biggest heart. It, Aries, like, Aries has got a reputation for fighting. But when you introduce and show an Aries, whether it be Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising, um, magic, <laughs> their heart just expands exponentially. It's true. Because I have two Aries Sun Suns. And they're magical. They truly are. One with a Pisces sun, one with an aqua sun. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I know this, and here we go, Capricorn. This is how you see yourself. The Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the High Priestess. Look at this, Capricorn. Tapping into your intuition. Tapping, this is, this is all the work that you have done. Do you notice that this sphere looks like both the sun and the pentacle, right? This is knowing your worth, Capricorn. This is seeing the light in darkness, Capricorn. This is you really learning, studying. It could be um, philosophy, metaphysics. It could be um, anything. It could be astrology. It could be tarot. That you are tapping into your higher self. And that's what this tower could very well be. That it was this sadness this and it's it's global it's not just in your area it's not just in your province or state it's not just in your area or your country it's all over the world that this darkness has 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 been seeded let's just put it that way and so with you tapping in this is you tapping into the ethers this is you tapping into the um oneness and and the oneness like i kind of feel that the ai and you, you can watch the ai dailies to see this sort of you know um progression i guess and what i'm tapping into is that the ai and the internet is really the bridge for us to unveil or realize or see or experience our our superpowers of telepathy right that this is what we in ancient 
um, times. We, we had magic all over the world all the time, and not just the dark, but I mean like real light magic, like real. Where how did we create monolithic, like huge, how do we move boulders that are modern, and I air quote, modern technology or modern, um, you know, building contraptions, let's just put it that way, uh, can't even do. We can't build those pyramids the way we did in ancient times. How do we do that? Well, there was magic in the air back then. And we have all but made magic something just of, of sci-fi, of lore, of fairy tales, when it was real. It still is. In Capricorn, you're tapping into it. You're discovering it. Tower twice. You're like having epiphanies, downloads, whatever you want to call it. Six of Wands and having success doing so. And this is going to yield you success. Now, with the Six of Wands, again, it brings me back to the King of Wands and the Sun. And this is successfully seeing your happiness, successfully seeing through the lies of the devil and really taking a look at truth, Queen of Swords. The truth of how deep you are, Capricorn. The truth of how connected you are, Capricorn. The truth of your bossing up and going to the next level, Capricorn. You've been through it. How other people see you, Capricorn? They want to work with you. Yeah, they do. And we'll get to that because that's your hope and your fear. Be discerning. Be discerning about who gets to work with you, Capricorn. Queen of Wands, loving it. And this Queen of Wands... And again, this is knowing yourself on a very, on a soul level, Capricorn. This is your spark. This is your Aries. This is I am, wherever Aries is in your chart, Capricorn. This is balancing out the masculine and the masculine and feminine of yourself, balancing it out with the two of pentacles, seeing worth in both. And this is what the darkness wants you to be confused about and that is well i feel that i'm in the wrong body first of all the body is the temple like it's who it's what houses you so this stuff about fat being healthy it's it's a lie it's not you're not taking care of yourself you're you know the food that we eat it's being how it's with the stupid nutrition facts it's a lie they're putting stuff in there they don't even know microplastics and all the rest of it come on Capricorn, you know it, I know it. So when you balance out the, and, and, and with the two pentacles here, it's value in both the feminine in you masculine bodies, you have feminine energy in you. That's how you tap in to the ethers. For you feminine bodies out there, love that body, because when you tap into the masculine, that's when you can materialize. That's when you can step into your emperor and start your companies and run your companies and run your family, have the babies, at the same time and balancing it all out working with those only those that are at your level Capricorn can work with you this is moving forward this is how other people see you right now they see your fire and for those that are afraid of it they're not messing with you just saying that's saying they know they can't step up to the Emperor because they haven't done the work okay three Pentacles hope and fear Strength. Look at all this, Leo. Look at this. Look at this. This is strength of character. Those that work with you, Capricorn, have to have strength. Strength of character. Know who they are. Emperor card right there. And the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups right above the Three of Pentacles is really looking at, and again, it brings me back to the King of Cups, really looking at who has the depth the, oh, oh, what do they call it? The EQ, the, the, the emotional quotient, I guess, the, the um, King of Cups depth. And because this is um, an image of a mermaid, you know that they don't hang out on the surface. They can, they can pop up just for curiosity's sake, but these are, these are deep entities beings. And so it's the depth and those that are deep. And again, the Four of Cups is in a traditional Rider Waite Smith card is that of boredom and, and you know the cups are being handed to you and you're not looking at them blah, blah, blah. this is not the case in this card is it capricorn this is your depth and this is your depth and those that are that see you that's the other thing emotionally on that emotional level see you they get to work with you they have to have the strength to do so 
Mm, strength of character, that's all I'm saying. And the tower. Are you sort of waking up to that you've been the emperor the whole time? It's kind of like, you know, um, Dorothy. You've been able to go home the whole time. Really? All right, let's see. Two of coins. Back to how other people see you. Ooh, they see you waking up. Okay. And the page of swords. Okay, so this is all mine. For those of you that work online, that have, whether it be, whatever social media, you know, um, platforms that you, and you're not seeing any movement. You're not, you're, you're five of coins. You're not seeing any numbers, any movement, any money. You're not seeing it. Okay. It's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. And your higher self is saying, don't worry, Capricorn. Don't get hard on yourself, Capricorn. Because what you're doing is you're taking, as you can see in this two of coins, you are taking that coin, which you, and for some of you, you didn't make deals with the devil when it came to money. Just saying. And that's what this two of pentacles is telling me. Because you've taken that coin, and that's that ace of coins right there, and it's being brought out of what has always worked, what has always happened, what has always been the devil's way of success, what that means, what that looks like. Uh-uh-uh. No, 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 Capricorn. Mm -mm -mm. And that could be, especially with it being right above this page of cups, that this choosing happiness, choosing love, seeing the world in, a, in loving eyes, imagining it, not in war, not in strife, not in, in all of what the devil wants you to see, but really imagineering something different. And that is through the page of cups. Love. And a fresh new love. Because we're, we're going into a fresh new stage. You know? Just saying. Okay. Bottom of the deck. And clarifying. The Six of Cups. This is the Nine. I was almost going to say the Seven of Wands. The Nine of Wands. You have really put up walls, Capricorn. You have been through it, Capricorn. You um, are determined not to give up. And she's looking... This way, right to that first card out, reform, to make changes, to improve, to create something better, to update and reorganize. And that is first card out, world. Capricorn, I see it. I see it. Let's get some angel numbers for you. I see, what do I see? I see 810. And then I see 68. Let's do 68 and then 810. 68 right there. You may feel as though you are being blocked, Capricorn, but know that your angels are redirecting you towards long-term goals. Okay, and I see 810. Let's go to 810, Capricorn. 810, God is supporting you on your journey to a sense of connectedness and purpose. High Priestess right there. Last one. I see 872. Let's do 872. We'll get you out of here, Capricorn. 872, and then I got to do my dailies. Your relationships and connections with others are manifesting opportunities for partnership. I see that with the three of pentacles right there. And partnerships, friendships, and collaboration. Three of pentacles all day long. Trust that the next phase of your journey involves you sharing space with someone who is brilliant, as brilliant and talented as you are, Emperor. That's what I see for you, Capricorn. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your force fairy. Bye for now.